Hello everybody. Welcome to a fascinating journey into the mystical world of Asian folklore. Today we'll delve into the rich tapestry of stories and myths that have been passed down through the generations, exploring creatures and monsters that have captivated or terrified the imagination of millions. So, let's begin. Ikek. The Ikek is a creature from Filipino folklore, specifically from the Ilocano region of the Philippines. It is a vampiric creature resembling a large black bird. The Ikek has the ability to shapeshift into human form during the day. At night, it transforms into a monstrous bird and hunts for prey, particularly targeting unborn children. It is feared for its blood-sucking tendencies and is believed to bring misfortune and death to those it encounters. Kitsune From Japanese mythology and folklore, the Kitsune is a mythical creature depicted as a fox with magical abilities. Kitsune are known for their shape-shifting abilities, often taking the form of beautiful women to deceive humans. They possess multiple tails, with the number indicating their age and power. Kitsune are associated with intelligence, mischief and both benevolent and malevolent intentions. They are revered for their wisdom and magical prowess, often appearing as tricksters or faithful guardians. Naga The Naga is a creature from Hindu, Buddhist and Southeast Asian mythologies. Naga are often depicted as serpentine beings, with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a serpent. They are associated with water, particularly rivers, lakes and the primordial ocean. Naga are believed to possess great wisdom, power and supernatural abilities. They can take on both benevolent and malevolent forms and are often revered as protectors of sacred places and treasures. In Hindu and Buddhist traditions, Naga are considered a divine race with their own kingdoms and are often depicted as guardians or companions of deities. Mananangal The Mananangal is a monster from Filipino folklore, which is depicted as a female creature with the ability to detach its upper torso from its lower body. In its monstrous form, the Mananangal sprouts large bat-like wings and elongated sharp claws. It is known for its preference to prey on pregnant women and its craving for the hearts and blood of fetuses. The Mananangal is often associated with darkness, fear and nightmarish tales. It is vulnerable to garlic, salt and sunlight and its lower body must be kept away from it to prevent it from rejoining and returning to human form. Oni From Japanese mythology and folklore, the Oni is a type of supernatural creature often depicted as a fierce, horned demon. Oni are known for their monstrous appearance with sharp fangs, wild hair and coloured skin, typically red or blue. They are associated with evil, chaos and the punishing of human misdeeds. Oni are often portrayed as large and powerful beings, wielding iron clubs or canabos. They are believed to dwell in the underworld, but can also appear in the human realm to cause mischief or carry out acts of vengeance. Almas Almas, also known as the Almasty, is a cryptid creature from Central Asian folklore, particularly in the regions of Mongolia and Tajikistan. It is described as a humanoid creature similar to a wild man or ape-like creature, often covered in long, white or sandy-coloured hair. Almas are believed to inhabit remote mountainous areas and are known for their elusiveness. Sightings of Almas report that they possess great strength and agility. They are considered to be shy and elusive, avoiding contact with humans. Tengu From Japanese mythology and folklore, the Tengu is a legendary creature typically depicted as a humanoid with wings and a long nose. They are known for their martial skills and supernatural powers. Tengu are often associated with mountains and forests, where they act as protectors or tricksters. They are skilled in swordsmanship and are considered masters of the martial arts. Tengu are sometimes depicted as bird-like creatures, representing their connection to the heavens. They are known for their intelligence, wisdom and their penchant for playing pranks on humans. Asaku The creature known as Asaku originates from Mesopotamian mythology. Asaku is depicted as a malevolent demon or vampire-like creature. It is said to be an invisible being that attacks humans during the night, causing various illnesses and afflictions. 
Asaku is believed to feed on the blood and life force of its victims, bringing them harm and misfortune. It is often associated with disease and pestilence, and protective rituals were performed to ward off its malevolent influence. Ryu From Japanese mythology and folklore, the Ryu is a mythical creature known as a dragon. It is typically depicted as a massive, serpent-like creature with scales, claws and the ability to fly. Ryu are associated with water and are often revered as water deities. They possess great wisdom and are considered the guardians of rivers, lakes and oceans. In Japanese culture, they are the symbol of power, strength and good fortune. Ryu are believed to have the ability to control weather and their appearance is often seen as an auspicious sign. Barong Barong is a mythical creature from Balinese mythology. It is a lion-like creature and one of the most important figures in Balinese culture. Barong are often depicted as a large benevolent creature with a lion's head, a long mane and a muscular body covered in colourful traditional fabrics. It represents good and protects against evil spirits. Barong is a central character in traditional Balinese dances, particularly the Barong dance, where he engages in a battle with the evil witch Rangda. It symbolises the eternal struggle between good and evil, and its dance performances are believed to bring blessings and purification to the community. Rangda Rangda is a character from Balinese mythology, and is often depicted as an evil and fearsome witch or demon queen. She is the antagonist in the Balinese Barong dance, where she engages in battle with the Barong, a benevolent creature. Rangda is depicted with long hair, fangs and bulging eyes, often adorned with a crown or headdress. She possesses supernatural powers and is associated with black magic and dark forces. Rangda is believed to represent chaos, destruction and the embodiment of evil. Ushioni Ushioni, also known as the Gyuki, is a creature from Japanese mythology and folklore. It is depicted as a fearsome yokai, a combination of a bull and a spider. Ushioni possesses a large bull-like head with sharp horns and a spider's body with multiple legs. It is often portrayed as a monstrous and aggressive creature that dwells in coastal areas or caves. Ushioni is known for its strength and ferocity, preying on humans and other animals. It is also associated with storms and rough seas, and its appearance is believed to be an omen of disaster. Longma The Longma, also known as the Dragon Horse, is a mythical creature from Chinese mythology. It is depicted as a hybrid creature with the head of a dragon and the body of a horse. The Longma is known for its extraordinary speed and strength, being able to run as swiftly as a horse while also having the ability to fly like a dragon. It is considered a symbol of power, wisdom and auspiciousness. According to legends, those who obtained a Longma were believed to possess great fortune and success. The Longma is often associated with imperial and divine connections, serving as a symbol of authority and divine intervention. Kappa In Japanese mythology and folklore, Kappa is a creature depicted as a humanoid with the features of a turtle. Kappas are known for living in bodies of water, such as rivers and ponds. They have a distinctive, dish-like depression on the top of their heads filled with water, which grants them strength and vitality. Kappas are mischievous beings, known for playing pranks on humans and sometimes even drowning them. Lamassu The Lamassu is a mythical creature from ancient Mesopotamian mythology. It is depicted as a protective deity with the body of a bull or a lion, wings of an eagle and the head of a human. Lamassu statues were often placed at the entrances of palace and temples as guardians and symbols of divine protection. They were believed to possess both physical and spiritual strength, warding off evil spirits and offering blessings to those who approached. Gishadakuru The Gishadakuru is a creature from Japanese mythology. It is a colossal skeletal yokai that takes the form of a giant skeleton often depicted as a monstrous, towering figure. Gashadakuru are created from the accumulated bones of people who died from famine or war. They roam at night, haunting lonely places and attacking unsuspecting victims. The Gashadakuru emits a chilling, rattling sound as it moves, 
and its presence is said to bring fear and foreboding. It is nearly invulnerable to conventional weapons and can only be repelled by holy rituals or specific incantations. Zoo Zoo is a creature from ancient Mesopotamian mythology, specifically from Sumerian and Akkadian traditions. It is depicted as a divine bird, a lion-headed eagle. Zoo is associated with the realm of gods and often considered a powerful and revered being. In some myths, Zoo is said to have stolen the Tablets of Destiny, which granted supreme power to its possessor. This act led to conflicts among gods and heroes in their quest to retrieve the Tablets. Zoo represents both the awe-inspiring and potentially disruptive forces within the divine hierarchy. Tsukinoku Tsukinoku is a mythical creature from Japanese folklore. It is described as a small and chubby snake-like creature with a unique set of characteristics. Tsukinoku is known for its ability to jump and roll in a manner similar to a hoop, allowing it to move quickly and efficiently. It is often depicted with a distinct bulge in the middle of its body. Tsukinoku is believed to possess supernatural powers, including the ability to speak human languages and bring good fortune to those who encounter it. Despite its elusive nature, it is considered a mischievous and harmless creature, inspiring both fear and fascination among the Japanese population. Buto-ijo Buto-ijo, also known as the Green Ogre or Green Giant, is a creature from Indonesian folklore, particularly in the regions of Java and Bali. It is depicted as a tall, muscular humanoid figure with green skin and a fierce countenance. Buto-ijo is known for its immense strength and is often associated with destructive and chaotic behaviour. In some stories, it is depicted as a guardian of certain locations or as a representation of nature's fury. Bakaneko Bakaneko is a creature from Japanese folklore, specifically a type of yokai known as a ghost cat. It is believed to be a domestic cat that has undergone a supernatural transformation, gaining magical abilities and growing in size. Bakaneko are known for their shape-shifting abilities, often taking on human-like forms or assuming the appearance of ordinary cats. They are associated with mischief, possession and vengeance. Bakaneko are said to possess the power to manipulate objects, speak human language and even bring harm to humans. They are often portrayed as cunning and malevolent spirits, haunting households and seeking revenge for mistreatment or neglect. Kun Peng Kun Peng is a legendary creature from Chinese mythology and Daoist cosmology. It is often depicted as a gigantic mythical bird, sometimes with the head of a dragon and the body of a fish. Kun Peng is considered a symbol of transformation and spiritual transcendence. According to legends, Kun Peng emerged from the primal chaos and ascended to the heavens, representing the transformation of matter into spirit. It is associated with the concept of unity and the harmonious balance between the earthly and celestial realms. Namazu Namazu is a creature from Japanese mythology and folklore. It is depicted as a giant catfish that lives in the depths of the earth, specifically in the subterranean realm. According to legend, Namazu is responsible for causing earthquakes. It is believed that when Namazu thrashes about, it causes the earth to shake violently, resulting in seismic activity. However, Namazu is kept in check by the god Kashima, who uses a stone or a ritual to suppress the creature and prevent it from causing widespread destruction. Kilin Kilin, also known as the Chinese unicorn, is a mythical creature from Chinese mythology. It is often depicted as a composite creature, with the body of a deer or horse, the tail of an ox, and scales or a single horn on its head. Killin is associated with auspiciousness, good fortune and benevolence. It is believed to appear during times of peace and prosperity, or to herald the birth or reign of a wise and just ruler. Killin is considered a gentle and noble creature, representing harmony, righteousness and the balance between yin and yang. Garuda Garuda is a mythical creature from Hindu and Buddhist mythology. It is often depicted as a large bird-like creature with the body of a human and the wings, beak and talons of an eagle. Garuda is considered the king of birds and serves as the mount of the Hindu god Vishnu. It is a symbol of power, speed and protection. 
Garuda is revered for its strength and is believed to have the ability to travel between the heavens and the earth. In Hindu mythology, Garuda is depicted as an enemy of snakes and is often portrayed subduing or fighting against the serpent demon Naga. Garuda is associated with divine virtues and is regarded as a guardian against evil and a symbol of liberation and enlightenment. Jin Jin, also known as Jin or Genies, are supernatural beings from Islamic mythology and folklore. They are often depicted as powerful spirits that possess free will and exist in a realm parallel to humans. Jin can manifest in various forms, including humans, animals, or even objects. They are believed to be created from smokeless fire. Jin are considered sentient beings with their own desires, emotions, and abilities. While some Jin are seen as benevolent and helpful, others are portrayed as mischievous or malevolent, capable of granting wishes or causing harm. Jin play a significant role in Arabian Nights tales and are generally ingrained in Islamic culture and belief. Ghoul From Arabian and Islamic folklore, the ghoul is a malevolent creature known for its association with graveyards and desolate places. Depicted as a shapeshifter, the ghoul can assume the form of animals or humans to deceive its victims. It feeds on the flesh of the deceased or unsuspecting travellers. Ghouls possess supernatural strength and stealth, often associated with black magic and necromancy. They are infamous for their ability to raise the dead and their relentless pursuit of their prey. Manticore The manticore is a creature from Persian and Greek mythology. It is depicted as a legendary beast with the body of a lion, the head of a human, or sometimes a combination of human and lion features, and a tail ending in a cluster of deadly spines or barbs. The manticore is known for its ferocity and predatory nature. It is said to possess immense strength and speed, capable of overtaking and devouring its prey with ease. In some versions of the myth, the manticore is also said to have a trumpet-like voice. It is often associated with themes of danger and fear, and tales of encounters with the manticore serve as cautionary stories of the perils of the unknown. Yeti From Himalayan folklore, the Yeti, or Abominable Snowman, is a creature depicted as a large, ape-like being that inhabits the snowy mountains. It is known for its robust and hairy body, often standing on two feet. Yeti sightings have fueled speculation that it is actually an unidentified primate species. Although elusive, the Yeti has become an iconic figure symbolising the unexplored wilderness of the Himalayas. Scientific evidence for its existence remains inconclusive. Baku Baku is a creature from Japanese and Chinese folklore. In Japanese mythology, the Baku is known as a dream-eating spirit. It is depicted as a mythical creature with the body of a bear, the head of an elephant, the eyes of a rhinoceros and the tail of an ox. Baku is believed to devour nightmares, protecting people from bad dreams. However, it is said that if one calls upon the Baku too much, it may devour good dreams as well. The Baku is often invoked as a protective charm against nightmares and is considered a benevolent and helpful entity. Rakshasa Rakshasa is a creature from Hindu mythology and folklore. In Hinduism, Rakshasas are powerful and malevolent beings. They are depicted as demonic entities with shape-shifting abilities. Rakshasas are often described as having monstrous forms with fierce features, sharp fangs and claws. They are known for their strength, cunningness and supernatural powers. In mythology, Rakshasas are depicted as enemies of gods and humans, causing harm, torment and disruption. Aswang The Aswang is a monster from Filipino folklore. It is a supernatural being associated with various malevolent traits. The Aswang is often depicted as a shapeshifter, capable of transforming into different forms, such as a monstrous creature or an attractive woman. It preys on humans, particularly targeting pregnant women and children. It is known for its ability to fly, its sharp fangs and its long, proboscis-like tongue used to suck the blood or internal organs of its victims. Dukebi Dukebi, also known as Korean goblins, are mythical creatures from Korean folklore. They are typically depicted as mischievous and supernatural beings with a fondness for playing tricks on humans. 
Dekebi often appear as elderly men wearing traditional Korean hats and carrying magic clubs. They possess magical powers, including the ability to create fire, change their appearance and summon objects. Dekebi are associated with places such as bridges, forests and crossroads. They are known for their love of games, riddles and challenges. In some stories, Dekebi can grant wishes or bestow wealth upon those who can outsmart them or fulfil their requests. Zhangxi Zhangxi is a creature from Chinese mythology and folklore. Depicted as a reanimated corpse, Zhangxi are known as hopping vampires. They have stiff movements due to rigor mortis and hop with their arms outstretched. Zhangxi wear Qing dynasty clothing and have pale skin, long white hair and paper talismans on their foreheads to control them. Sensitive to life force, or qi, they hop to move and feed on the qi of the living often by sucking it through their victims' mouths. Efreet The Efreet, from Arabian folklore, are formidable jinn made of smokeless fire. These powerful beings possess great strength, intelligence and shape-shifting abilities. Often associated with fire and the desert, Efreet are known for their malevolence and cunning nature. While capable of granting wishes, they often twist them to bring harm. Efreet embody pride and arrogance, seeking dominion over humans. In tales, they may be imprisoned or enslaved, reflecting their complex relationships with mortals. Simurg The Simurg is a mythical creature from Persian mythology. It is often depicted as a large and benevolent bird with the head of a dog, the wings of an eagle, the tail of a peacock and the claws of a lion. The Simurg is associated with wisdom, compassion and healing. It is said to possess a vast knowledge and is often regarded as a guardian and protector of the world. In Persian literature, the Simurg is depicted as a wise counsellor and a guide for heroes on their quests. It is believed that the feathers of the Simurg have healing and transformative properties. The Simurg symbolises renewal, transformation and the union of the spiritual and material realms. Xianlong Xianlong, also known as Celestial Dragon, is a creature from Chinese mythology. It is depicted as a divine and majestic dragon with a serpentine body, often adorned with celestial patterns and features. Xianlong is associated with the heavens and is believed to possess tremendous power and wisdom. It is seen as a benevolent and auspicious creature, symbolising good fortune, protection and the harmony between heaven and earth. Jianlong is often depicted as a celestial guardian, capable of controlling the weather, bringing rain and prosperity. It is a revered figure in Chinese culture, representing celestial authority and divine blessings. Pizhu, also known as Pi Yao or Qian Lu, is a mythical creature from Chinese mythology. It is depicted as a powerful and protective creature, resembling a winged lion or a hybrid of a lion and a dragon. Pizhu is believed to have a voracious appetite for wealth and treasures, and it is considered a symbol of wealth and good fortune. It is often depicted with a single horn, upward pointing ears and a muscular body. Pizhu is associated with Feng Shui and is believed to have the ability to attract and safeguard wealth and prosperity. It is commonly seen in various forms of Chinese art, jewellery and sculptures, serving as a popular talisman for attracting wealth and warding off evil spirits. Kanari. Kanari is a creature from Hindu, Buddhist and Southeast Asian mythology. It is often depicted as a half-bird and half-human being, typically with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a bird. Kanaris are known for their exceptional beauty, grace and melodious singing voices. They are associated with music, dance and artistic talents. Kanaris are often depicted as celestial beings who reside in the heavens and are considered symbols of love harmony and fertility. In some legends, they are portrayed as benevolent and compassionate beings, offering blessings and protection to those they encounter. Tianak Tianak is a creature from Philippine folklore, particularly in Filipino mythology. It is depicted as a malevolent creature that takes the form of an innocent-looking baby or child. Tianak is said to be the spirit of an aborted fetus or a child who died before being baptised. It lures unsuspecting individuals by crying like a baby and then reveals its true, monstrous form. Tianak is known for its sharp fangs, 
claws and ability to fly. It preys on humans, particularly those who are lost or vulnerable. The legend of the Tianak serves as a cautionary tale and highlights the consequences of neglect or harm towards children. Tigbalang The Tigbalang is a creature found in Philippine folklore. It is often depicted as a tall, humanoid creature with the head and hooves of a horse. The Tigbalang is known for its mischievous and trickster nature. It is said to inhabit forests, mountains and other remote areas. The Tigbalang is believed to have the ability to shapeshift and is known for playing pranks on travellers or leading them astray. The Tigbalang is deeply ingrained in Philippine folklore and serves as a cautionary figure, emphasising the importance of respect for nature and proper conduct when venturing into the wilderness. Our exploration of Asian folklores, creatures and monsters comes to an end. If you enjoyed this journey, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the captivating world of mythology. Yours truly, Mythos the Historian.